think, I mean, you know, the more friends we have out there in the world, the better. And one thing that, that everybody needs, no matter where you are in the world, is health care. We're all here to help. We're not here to take over. We're not here to tell you our way to do it. We're here to build a cooperative. We are here to really learn from the Angolans um, and to impart our knowledge also. They have about half, maybe even less, of what, what I'm used to uh, using out in the field. My goal is to learn how they adapt to situations and then bring that home and then train other soldiers back home on how to go about doing that stuff. It's been really great like sharing ideas and seeing what their capabilities are. They're actually teaching us. We're learning a lot from them. We can speak the same language in a different way and this is where we learn. And this is where bonding happens. Language is just like anything else. If you don't use it, you start to lose it. We have three other translators here that are in the Language Enabled Airmen Program. Um, none of us are medical professionals, but we happen to all speak Portuguese. We're happy to be here and use our language and practice. It helps us out as much as it's helping everybody else out. I think the medracs are extremely important, realizing that each person in each country brings their own set of abilities to the table. You talk to the nurses, you talk to the doctors, um, the techs, and you know, the intent is still the same, you know, the patient comes first. I think in general they've been very happy to have us here. It has been a wonderful experience because we had the opportunity to pass our experience and the American collaboration has their experience to us, so it's been great. To simplify it, it's how can I get better at what I do as a nurse as well as how can I help others get better. That's kind of something that I'm kind of taking away from this trip altogether.